When we got back, the immigration guy was like, where's home? And we just paused, because like... So I am working on perfecting the art of getting away with filming in rooms. I feel like my blood pressure shot up, like, on touchdown. How do you feel about going back to the US? That is one good thing about this country is like, we know how to. <laughs> good morning. We are leaving. Ah, we're leaving the beach. First breakfast, going back to the bakery. Because Third it's my time. favorite ever. Third time. Why go anywhere else? Why go anywhere else? I have not eaten breakfast anywhere other than this place after I had it the first time. Breakfast was amazing, per usual. And now we are saying goodbye to Santa Teresa. Okay, I could not leave without just saying goodbye to the beach one more time. It's so beautiful, and there's a puppy dog. Hey, Guan Guans! Enjoy your warm brick. All right, we are in the car line for the ferry. Harper is asleep. I want to be asleep. The drama mean is like, bleh, making me all kinds of foggy and weird. Um, Jesse's gone to get our tickets for the ferry. I think I'm gonna actually just pass it up now. Okay, we made it to the hotel. After much, many trials and tribulations, our phones like stopped working. Thank you so much. Harper has made me a coffee. Mmm, so delicious. Thank you. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Our phones just stopped connecting to the internet, so we had no map, no directions. So we got a map to like kind of load. So we were like following our little dot and like making guesses about which route to take. Took us forever to get here, but we made it. We have Wi-Fi. We need to find some food and there's a pool. So Harper, Harper is happy and we will be happy once we eat. All right, so we are getting back on the road because we're crazy like that. And yeah, our phones are still not working and we forgot to, forgot to load the map. So we're just gonna guess at the uh, directions to this giant mall we passed that has like a Ferris wheel on the roof. Like you do. Whichever ones they like best. How's it? Good. All right, we're gonna walk the mall, and they have these awesome car things for rent. So your child is happy and strapped to something. It's just genius. It's genius is what this is. So I am working on perfecting the art of getting away with filming in rooms. The trick is, okay, whenever you see security, film your kid. The kid 
immediately kid. You know, if you don't have kids, you can just film somebody else's kid. Um, <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> then you're gonna get security on you for something else, but yeah. not for filming. <laughs> From breakfast Jesse took Harper to the pool for like a lightning round pool session <laughs> before we leave I am repacking all the bags we have a flight to Houston today and then we have an overnight layover so I booked us a hotel near the airport and then our next flight is uh, tomorrow Only my husband travels with a piano. Hashtag minimalism. The reason that our flights are so ridiculous is because they were cheaper. It's always the moment when you regret saving that little extra bit of money. And yes, they're still cheaper even accounting for the hotel stay. I think the other option was like a super short layover and with a three-year-old super short layover, no, not gonna even happen. This thing probably weighs, like, this thing weighs almost as much as our child. But for Jesse's job, he's got to have a really good machine. So, oh, have mercy. Oh. Also, this is a problem. Oh, dear. It's been like that since Mexico City. The little screws holding it in to the camera have popped off. Something that I should know but don't, I'm Googling, can you put toothpaste in a carry-on? Why don't I know that? Toothpaste on a boil. Oh, Google. Can you put toothpaste in a dog's mouth? These are just not helpful at all. Okay, yeah, we can bring the toothpaste. I used to be the type who would pack everything in hand luggage and travel-sized everything. That was so cool. And then I had a baby. And now I'm working on it, I'm working on it. All right, we're at the airport. We are checked in, we are through security. And there's a giant toy store with dinosaurs. So 
We'll be here for three hours. <laughs> I have a question for you guys. I never noticed this until living in central Mexico for a while, but um, people, my people, specifically white people, specifically white United States citizens people, we dress alarmingly badly. Also, by the way, like I am the least fashionable person on the face of the planet, so I am laughing with you, not at you. But just walking through the airport, I realized today, like we generally look like we're either just about to engage in a very vigorous athletic activity, or we look like we're going on safari. We really like things with pockets. Shirts with pockets, pants with many, many pockets, vests with lots of pockets. Why do we have so many pockets, you guys? No judgment for people on airplanes because when you are about to sit crammed into a little sardine can for however many hours, comfort is first. And I've never tried to uh, look nice at an airport and I don't think you should either. So there you go. Wear your athletic apparel with pride. Anyway, do you guys have a go-to airport outfit? I'm wearing jeans right now, which is one of my number one rules, never wear jeans on a plane because they're so outrageously uncomfortable. However, it saves space in the suitcase. Tomorrow, I have sweatpants though. Well, that's it, Lake. Okay, we are on the plane. I got uh, picked for the... Um, random extra pat down. So an observation. Um, now everybody's speaking English and I do not like it because I like people a lot more when I don't understand what they're saying. There were these two guys in line behind me who were literally complaining about the airport musician guy who was playing the, what was that, marimba? Xylophone? Wooden xylophone. Marimba? They were actually complaining about him. And so I'm like standing in line, like, how can you be complaining about this? And just feeling all kinds of grumpy. How do you? I feel warm and in need of AC. How do you feel about going back to the US? I have a lot to do. That's all I can think about. <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most? Being done with all the stuff I have to do. <laughs> Are you stressed about work right now? Yep. I will miss warmer weather and the food. What will you miss? Tortas. Yes, you will miss tortas. Alright, I'm gonna buckle up now. Yeah. The plane can't take off because we can't finish the safety demonstration thing because these people will not take their seats because there was some type of like mix up and somebody sat in their seat and they can't handle it. So we gotta wait while they sit in their seat. Oh, there we go. Now, now they're, they're happy. Oh, we're clapping. Yes, like, good for you. You, you got your seat. <laughs> All right, we're about to land. Almost to the United States of Texas.
<laughs> okay, we're in the hotel waiting for Uber Eats. It's so much more expensive here. <sighs> um, <laughs> and Harper got a nap in the airplane, so. Harper, are you gonna ever go to sleep tonight, you think? Yeah! You, you, <laughs> you sound exhausted. of how we dress is the just got out of bed look or the just about to get in bed look. Um, this is the look that I'm sporting today and my favorite of all of the looks. So there's the safari, there's the athlete, and there's the sleeper. I'm definitely a sleeper. Thoughts about being in the United States? I can talk very quickly in English. I understand everything. It's pretty amazing. I feel a little bit like a superstar. So competent at things. It's amazing. I also feel way more stressed out. I feel like my blood pressure shot up like on touchdown. Things here are very go, 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 go. In the airport, it's like keep moving, keep moving, go, don't make anybody take any more time than is necessary. Be super, super on time, like the airport shuttle from the, the hotel like started driving off as I'm trying to buckle Harper's car seat. I'm like, wait, I do not have this ready. Waiting for the, tr the little tram train thing to get over to this terminal. They literally have a thing where it tells you how many seconds you have to wait before the train comes. Seconds. That to me is living in the United States. It's like, we have to know how long we're going to wait down to the second. I will say the, the nice thing is that you know what to expect and you know when things are gonna happen and that can actually be really nice sometimes, but the flip side is that it can also be super stressful. On the other side, something that I've noticed is that we really label things well here. <laughs> like, that is one good thing about this country is like, we know how to label things. Street signs, airport signs, everything is labeled and very clear. It feels weird to be back. When we got back, the immigration guy was like, where's home? And we just paused, cause like, <laughs> we didn't know how to answer that question. And then, you know, he finishes up with our passports and he's like, welcome back. And like, okay, we're back. I do like being able to ask people questions and understand their answer and also be able to joke with people. I really miss being able to do that. When I'm on these airplanes, I just think about all the leg room on the buses in Mexico and I just want to cry. <laughs> Stowed. I feel cold just looking at it. Burn. 